What will work look like in the future? This video takes a look at the sci-fi-like jobs, small business ideas, and ways humans will make money in a futuristic world. From controlling robots from home that are working in space, and even stocking grocery store shelves in Tokyo, which is something that is already happening today. To the futuristic autonomous products you can buy that will be able to work by themselves earning you money, such as a home robotic chef. Is Elon Musk on a secret mission to create tech that allows users to make money autonomously, from Tesla's future robo-taxis and home Powerwall unit to SpaceX's Starlink dish that could one day let users sell an internet connection to their neighborhood, helping people earn money and start small businesses while artificial intelligence starts to take over our jobs? And when the future comes where humans start competing with artificial intelligence and all jobs become automated, will we live in a post-money world, where every Earth citizen gets a universal basic income to survive, to not be overruled by artificial intelligence and their companies? We will even take a look at what sort of things Elon Musk was having students taught at his own school to help prepare them for the future. In the future, you will be able to work and make money from home by controlling robots doing the work in a factory, store, or even in another country. Telepresence is work that can be done through the use of AR or VR, and with force feedback gloves, you are able to feel the objects you are interacting with when operating the robot, and this is already happening today. The Model T by Telexistence is a remotely operated robot that will start working at Family Mart convenience stores in Tokyo by 2022. The workers wear a virtual reality headset and control the robotic arms with controllers. It can move around the store on wheels and works by stocking shelves. And this will help with the labor shortage crisis in Japan because of their aging population. These telepresence robots will allow older people in Japan to work in the stores along with people who live outside of the city. Even people living in other countries can be working and making money as robot controllers for these Tokyo convenience stores. The same business idea has been tested in cafes. Japanese startup Ori Lab came up with a way for people who are paralyzed to have employment and make money. These people worked as remote robotic controllers that waited on customers at Don Ver Cafe. The controllers got $9 per hour. And with crowdfunding, the cafe is expected to open full-time in the next year. Working as a remote robotic controller will be even more beneficial when it comes to more dangerous occupations. People will operate factory machines from the comfort and safety of their own homes. Or firefighters will be operating robots that go into burning buildings. Will there be a time when motorsports have human drivers controlling their race cars and machines remotely, allowing for faster racing speeds and more action? As having humans would make for a more interesting race than just having artificial intelligence control vehicles that lack human emotions and flaws. How will these robotic controller overlords store all of their coin and gold in the future? Will the paper money and coins we use today become relics in the future, along with the plastic credit cards we use? People are already implanting NFC chips into their hands and fingers, allowing them to store Bitcoin keys that can make payments. Further out into the future, our own DNA could be used to store our financial records and allow us to make payments. This sort of tech has already been used today. The Netflix show Biohackers has used synthetic DNA to store one million copies of the first episode, proving that this tech is more science than fiction. Telepresence work gets even more advanced when looking at medicine. In the 1970s, NASA suggested that researchers look into the option of remote-controlled robots to operate on astronauts. In 2006, Anvari used a robot to sew up a cut on someone living in the ocean at the Aquarius underwater base to simulate what space telesurgery might be like. In 2001, the first transatlantic operation was conducted by surgeons in New York on a patient in France. By 2025, the U.S. Department of Defense wants to have a trauma pod that will allow surgeons to perform operations on soldiers from a distance. Today, AVA Robotics has telepresence robots deployed in hospitals that are allowing doctors quarantined at home to stay present in emergency rooms, and they also allow nurses to monitor and care for patients without having to enter the room and worry about personal protective equipment. 
Before artificial intelligence takes over all of our work, this type of telepresence work could be used in almost every industry. Truck drivers will have their jobs replaced by self-driving trucks, such as the Tesla Semi. But then there will be new jobs where humans monitor a fleet of self-driving trucks. And if one has an issue, the human can log in and see through the truck's cameras to figure out what to do, and can even send out other robots to fix the issue. That is, until the AI learns how the humans are solving these issues and learns how to do it by themselves. What if you could control robots that are not even on Earth, but are out in space? In our other video called Space Inc., the link is in the description, we showed all of the new space businesses and tech being launched. There are a number of products, such as a faster internet cable, that can only be efficiently made in microgravity. So could there be a day when there are autonomous and humanless micro factories orbiting Earth? Materials get sent up, and the finished product gets loaded on a rocket and sent back to Earth. People on Earth will be controlling the robots in these space factories. And there will be many more new jobs being created for the new industrial space age. Elon Musk plans to send 1 million people to Mars by 2050, which will create a large number of space-based jobs on Mars and here on Earth. He has said that Mars will have a labor shortage for a long time, so jobs would not be in short supply. He has also said that there will be a number of problems that people will need to work on to help set up the Mars habitat. He has joked about putting a job listing on the SpaceX website looking for an urban planner for Mars. Today, you can even see school degrees that specialize in building in space, such as the Colorado School of Mines that has a program in space resources, while the University of Michigan has a master's degree in space engineering, all of which are helping to teach the new generation that will begin building bases on the Moon and Mars. Coming up next, buying autonomous products that can make you money, living in a post-money world, Elon Musk on education and what future jobs will be like, and a list of sci-fi-like future jobs such as a digital life designer and being a brain-to-computer personal trainer. As people are operating machines in space, back here on Earth you will be able to buy autonomous tech, meaning that once you have paid for them, they will be able to go out and make money on their own. Elon Musk has said that in the future, your Tesla car will have settings that allows you to share it. You can set it so that your family or certain friends can have access to your self-driving Tesla. And you can set what time you need it back. And there will be an option to share it with the public, making it act as a self-driving robo-taxi, earning money while you are at work or sleeping, instead of having it just parked, not doing anything. Elon Musk estimates that a single robo-taxi could make its owner $30,000 a year. The plan is to use the existing Tesla mobile app where owners will add their cars to the shared fleet to earn money from their robo-taxis. The California Public Utilities Commission has approved two new programs that allow autonomous vehicle operators to launch their own robo-taxis in the state. The two new programs allow companies to offer passenger services and ride shares in self-driving vehicles. What other products and autonomous robots could you buy that will start working and making money for you? There are smart homes, such as the ones that use Tesla's Powerwall to store energy. Not only can this store energy from the solar panels on the roof and sell the excess energy back to the power grid, it could also be programmed to receive and store energy from the grid when prices are low, which is in the middle of the night, and then sell it back to the grid during peak hours at a profit. Will there be home cooking robots that could cook meals to be sold and delivered around different neighborhoods? Check out our video on robots that are already cooking in restaurants today. The link is in the description. Could SpaceX's Starlink internet dishes allow people who buy a dish to distribute and sell excess internet bandwidth to their neighborhood, making it the third product after Tesla's robo-taxis and Powerwall that Elon Musk has created that allows people to make money? Will there be more powerful home cleaning robots that people could buy, which can easily drive into homes through a robot door and clean the houses while the homeowners are out? Or what about buying an autonomous drone? It could be programmed to do different things, from tracking down lost pets using their chips, examining roofs for damage, or for security. And people in a neighborhood could simply use their phone to hire the drone, and it will automatically do its job and send you a report. What will our future look like in a post-money world? When it comes to money, 
Elon Musk has said that this thing we call money is just a slow, lossy, and unsecure database for labor allocation. Investing is meaningless without people, at least until artificial general intelligence happens, which will remove our need for labor and will mean that we need a universal basic income. Artificial general intelligence will be a machine that can learn any new skill and complete any task by itself. Today, AI can usually only perform one specific task, say driving a car or speech recognition. They have been trained to perform that specific task and can't learn a completely different task, but artificial general intelligence will be able to. So what happens when we have limitless labor in the form of AI and robots? When artificial general intelligence is achieved, all mental and physical tasks that humans work on today will be solved by an AI. All manufacturing will be achieved by nanofabricators, and all energy requirements will be met or exceeded with nuclear fusion and or solar energy. At this point in the future, there will be no reason to have money, as everything we need will be available for free and our labor will not be required. A Universal Basic Income, or UBI, is the idea that every citizen in a society is paid a fixed basic wage, even if they're not working. This will allow people such as stay-at-home parents to earn money while taking care and raising their children, and students would be able to focus on studying. As economies continue to grow and become more productive because of automation, a UBI works to redistribute the money so that everyone receives the benefits of automation. Andrew Yang calls UBI the Freedom Dividend. The $1,000 per month payment for all American citizens would be paid for by taxing the tech companies that profit from artificial intelligence such as Amazon and Google. Elon Musk asks what should we do about mass unemployment as it will be a massive social challenge, adding that there might not be a choice when it comes to creating a universal basic income. As always, Elon Musk sees much farther into the future. Instead of letting artificial intelligence take over our lives and jobs, a brain-to-computer device will allow humans to merge with AI. This would allow humans to be productive and work at superhuman levels. Each human would be able to achieve more in the day, and older humans would not have to be forced out of the workforce as their brain-to-computer devices will keep them productive. Elon has said that the best way to predict and understand the future is to understand physics mostly the thinking behind physics itself and how to break things down. We made a video focusing on this called Elon Musk, the scientist behind the CEO, which includes the books he recommends people to read. Links to the video and the books are in the description below. Elon Musk had a school called Ad Astra, where students learned about building robotics, electromagnetic pulses, flamethrowers, and different programming languages. The school even had its own currency called the Astra, and students could trade things such as building websites or food in a marketplace, boosting their understanding of entrepreneurship. The students even learned about artificial intelligence and the ethics behind it. One day, could there be a council of elders who work to protect humans from AI? Elon Musk has said that AI generally won't be evil themselves. It is that the people who do the programming have not thought through what they are asking the AI to do. For example, you tell the AI that you want the best ice cream and it buys you a plane ticket to Italy. Or you ask it to make your YouTube channel more profitable and the AI sends out emails to the employees and even yourself saying that you are all fired. When the AI has sent you an email saying that you are fired from your own company, what other types of sci-fi jobs and business ideas will there be for you in the future? When people start getting brain-to-computer devices such as a neural link, will there be trainers who help people get the most out of their brain chip, either helping people with medical issues or people looking to boost their performance to a more superhuman level? Will there be a robot psychologist, someone who picks out the best robot and programs their personality for a person or family and is able to solve issues and interactions between robots and humans? And what about sci-fi jobs in the arts? Will there be digital body artists for when skin-embedded screens become available? Or would a human be able to work as a robotics artist, making robots perform art pieces? And how about going into the digital world? Will there be virtual reality stylists and fashion designers? Or a digital life designer, a person who designs your digital world like an interior designer or architect, letting you live in your dream world?
On the next episode of Venture City, we take a look at a time lapse of future tech. Hit the subscribe and thumbs up buttons to not miss a video.